Welcome back to Sacramento and Company. You know what? The pride and the honor that goes along with being a member of the Girl Scout is something that's often passed down from generation to generation, from grandmother to mother to granddaughter. And guess what? Here in Sacramento, we found a family with three generations of Girl Scouts in their history, actually four, they told me, and invited them on the show to talk about the benefits and the fun of scouting. So we want to welcome Grandma Mary Ann, Mom Eileen, and granddaughter Suzanne, all members of the Girl Scouts. Ladies, thanks for being here. Thank you. And you guys have so many decorative and beautiful badges and pins. Tell me just a little bit about your pins right here. Um, well, the stars are the year pins, and so we have a 10-year pin, and they have a lot more than 10 years. <laughs> um, these are bridging ceremonies, so where we go up to the next level. These are badges and uh, interest projects that we can earn for different things. Um, these are cookies, uh, cookie pins. We get them each time we sell cookies. And oh, you should sell them here. You'd have tons more pins. <laughs> <laughs> and these are our uh, membership pins and our 100-year pin, which we're celebrating next year. So tell me, how long have you been in Girl Scouts, all of you, and how has it been? Oh, it's fun. I've been in for 12 years now. It's, yeah? Oh, it's been amazing. I've opened doors that have usually would be shut. 12 years? What did you start when you were like one? <laughs> <laughs> No, I started in first grade. Wow. Yeah. And how about you? Uh, this is my 42nd year. Wow. Uh, I went, as a child, I started in second grade brownies because that was the earliest I could do. Went all the <laughs> way through high school. And then I missed a few years after high school uh -huh. uh, with my membership. But then I became a leader again when Suzanne was old enough to join. And so this is actually my second time around being a leader. I was a leader when I was in college. That is so neat. All right, and now we're ready to hear how many years for you. Well, 50 plus. Wow, okay, that deserves a round of applause. That is so well, neat. I am a Girl Scout because my mother was a Girl Scout leader. Wow. She wanted me to have the benefits of the special friendships that come through Girl Scout. And I bet, I mean, how is it meant for you? What is like some of the most memorable things you have done and seen? <laughs> Who wants to start? <laughs> yeah, really. I'm sure all three of you. Um, well, I'm a PA and a CIT, a counselor in training. Okay. And so it's amazing for me. You go into a grocery store and there's this little second grader running up to you, yelling your camp name, Sparkle, oh my goodness, and hugging <laughs> you. Do you remember me? Oh. You don't, but you say hi. Yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, remember when we were at camp? <laughs> yeah. It's so much fun. Just oh, that's neat. And how has it changed from the generations? I mean, what do you see from when you were doing it to now to the younger girls? The outside stuff has changed. The outer uniform has changed. Yeah. The core values have not changed. Service, patriotism, self-reliance, self-confidence, leadership. That has been since day one, 1912, all the way through. And something really important for young women to learn. Oh, absolutely. Girls can do anything. Yes, we can. We yes. Give us the right <laughs> tools and we can do it. Girls rule. Well, it, it's very important with women getting married later. They've got their own households. They need to be able to fix the toilet, do the light bulbs, figure out what the heck is a fuse and a circuit breaker and what in the world do I do with that. Even when you are married, you still need to help the husbands out with that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, it helps if you know which end of a screwdriver you use. <laughs> that is great. And what do you see, too, passing down the generations? What's the neatest thing you've seen? Well, I think, for me, the emphasis on the out-of-doors environment, that has always been there from uh, the very beginning yeah. of Girl Scouts. And now it's such a national, international focus that it's wonderful. Yeah. Now, Suzanne, have you learned a lot of, <coughs> of life lessons, and have you become a better leader because oh, of being yeah. in Girl Scouts? Oh, yeah. Leadership is definitely a main thing. Um, I, I can do anything that I just set my mind to. I can get the tools. I can use things. I can help people just do everything and anything. I bet you can. And do you guys have any plans coming up your whole family for the 100th anniversary? Because I can't believe Girl Scouts have been around for 100 years. Oop. There's going to be a big uh, council-wide celebration out at Cal Expo in April of 2012. We're planning on being there. Um, we're participating in a lot of the planning for that. And that. That planning has already begun because it's going to be such a big 
oh, deal, yeah. but there will be smaller local activities. Well, you know it's going to be really neat? I bet the three of you are going to run into your mirrors, three other generations out there of families oh, that you're going to meet and a bunch of girls and you're going to make so many more friends than you probably already have. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we have to talk about cookies. <laughs> because we know we're seeing it right now. Yes. In all, is this the big push right now for Girl Scout yeah, cookies? Yeah, it ends sometime in March uh, this month. Uh oh. It, it next, I think next Friday is the last. Uh oh. So get them now <laughs> because they are going. We need to get them now. There's a big push, and we're seeing right now. You know what? They're they're everywhere. If you go outside your grocery store and your local shopping center, but you can go online, find the one nearest to you, yes. and it really helps support you guys. Yes, it does. We get sixty uh, cents per box, and it goes to our troop. And we get to use it to go camping or hiking or just use it for our troops so that we can do other things. I love it. And, and thank you, ladies, for being here. You guys are an inspiration. It's so neat to see a family. And sticking with this and doing it together, I'm sure it's brought you guys even closer. Oh, yeah. oh it's fun. 100 years. <laughs> go Girl so Scouts. Yeah. Girl power, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, we love it. All right, guys. You know, we're going to maybe go get some cookies and kind of hang out <laughs> over here and let you finish the show. Okay. Thank you, Jody. You know, when Girl Scouts are around, you know, cookies can't be too far away. Where are they? <laughs> I know they're here. I know they're here somewhere. All right. Well, we're getting to enjoy some spring-like temperatures this week.